All right, my friend. Time for the May 11 pound of Polish Rocks. We got some pretty good ones this month. Next month's going to be the all agate batch, but this one's got quite a few agates also, but not like next month. But we got some unknown stuff here, some reds, some unknown stuff from the landscaping rocks. Got a couple of crowlers, maybe I heard of them before. Got a big piece of quartz. I'm not sure if that's Mary Ellen or Binghamite. Uh, we got some fossils, pretty cool fossils this month. Um, some palm stones, I mean some worry stones. Bahias, we got a couple Bahias underneath that towel that is going to get their own video, so we're not going to show them today. We got some Epidote from Rick the Rock and Roll Rock Hound. We got some redos on some um, pet wood, some crazy um, church. Just a couple of pieces of crazy lace. I think um, some more unknown stuff there. Some jelly beans, including the weirdest looking one I've, I've ever seen. And we're going to take a, and that's from Where to Cut This Rock. And a few other little weird pieces. We'll take a look at that, a closer look at them. Okay, we're going to start off with this crazy piece I got from the landscaping rocks. I thought it was a brecciated jasper at first, then it opened up to some crazier looking stuff than I don't know what this is but it is really cool looking and it's nice not sure on this one either but it is cool looking whatever it is okay this is one from where to cut that rock I had opened one up I had one before it had purple in it but I opened it up this one up and it's got a purplish tint to it but it's not really purple I don't think I don't know it's close and this was some epidote I had got from Rick, the uh, rock and roll rock on a few months, uh, a few years ago, probably. It was just in a batch, and I um, hadn't hadn't used it, so I threw it all in there. And this is what those pink rocks from the landscaping rock look like. I finally got one polished. It's not bad. I don't know what it is. I guess it's just a piece of quartz with something running through it. I don't know. But um, there's a lot of these pink ones out there. It looks cool. All right, this one here is cool. I don't know if it's Binghamite or Mary Ellen Jasper. I know I got it from Tim, and so it's one or the other. But um, it's cool looking, whatever it is. I like it. All right, got a few jelly bean looking ones. This was the one I was, it's got one little spot on it. It wouldn't go away, so. But, I mean, it's almost a rectangle. But it is cool looking. It's like a great polish. And this is a little fossil, I don't know what it is, but it's cool looking. Got fossils all over it. I came out the landscaping too. That's really cool. I think this is a piece of coral. I don't know if that's got a fossil in it or not, but it is cool looking, whatever it is. It's a little piece of coral. It's got mostly black in it, but pretty cool looking. This is one of the biggest fossils I found out there. It's really cool looking. This one's really cool. I thought it was one of my worry stones that I've been making, but then when I turned it over, the other side is all is all coral. So I guess it could be a coral worry stone. That would be pretty cool. These are two rocks that were supposed to be by here. I'm not sure if they are or not, but they were too small to cut, too cracked up, so I just polished them. But they got a little pattern on that one. This one here is really a crazy one, though. It's got this thing sticking out right there. I don't know what that is. It's got some pattern there. Definitely got a little agate face here. So I guess that is a by here. A really cool looking one. I don't know what that is sticking out right there, though. It's really hard. But it's harder than a regular rock because it wouldn't polish down. This is a bahia. I thought I'd polish it till something came out, but nothing really did. Started to come out right there a little bit. Too small a cut. This one's just a typical bahia. Nothing special about it. This is one I didn't think it had anything in it, but I had to cut it. I think I cut it on where to, where to cut that rock or whatever. But it, I figured that's the way it would look the way through the whole thing. It was pretty cool, but it just didn't have any other pattern in it.
This one was an ugly Bahia winner here. This one here really came out cool. Yeah, I like that. That is nice. Someone said they want to see some cool looking shirt. I might have some. That's pretty cool. This one's really nice. Got pattern all the way around it. A few more shirts. That's nice. I like that. This one's got a lot of pattern on it. Yeah, that's nice. This one, again, lots of pattern on it. This one's one of my favorites. It's got pattern all over it. But the front is what really gets it. I like that. And these two have pretty good pattern. I like that. And this is my, probably the best looking one I would imagine. And it's loaded with stuff. All right, this is a landscape and fine. It was broken open and it had some crazy color inside, so I figured I'd try and polish it and it came out pretty good. Lost a little bit of reddish color, but it's not bad. And this is a landscaping piece. I thought it was a piece of agatized wood. It had, ag had wood-looking stuff on it here, but it all got polished off. I don't know if that's a wood piece of wood or not, but it definitely did look like it before. Still kind of does. These are just some cool unknown rocks, but I like the color pattern on it. It really came out. I guess that's red and yellow jasper, actually. But this is the one I'm really not sure on. Got a crazy pattern on it. I don't know. And this one was one of the coolest rocks I found, but it just started cracking once I put it in the um, tumbler and never stopped cracking. But it had some reds and different blacks and stuff with different colors on it, but just broke it up. I guess this is just a jasper, but it's just got some crazy little colors on it. On it. But the next one is the one that's got the most colors on it I've seen in a long time. The black and the red and the yellow and brown. Oh, wait. Did, did, did it to y'all again? The colors on this thing is crazy. And the pattern, too. I didn't know what that is. But that is cool looking, I think. Hey, one, one little lake I got in there somehow. That's pretty cool looking. I like it. That is cool. All right, under that towel, that's where the three by heels are. That They're going to get their own videos. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to show you all the ugly one. How about that? And then I'm going to do... The video on the other two, separate. Let me just show you, show you the ugly one. All right, this is the ugly one. It's got crazy pattern on it. A nice big pocket on top of it. That is a cool looking rock. I like it. But the other two are way better than this one. This is a cool looking piece, but it had that, that one hole opened up and it's way deep in there, so I wasn't going to get that out, so I just left it like that. And y'all wanted to see some crowlers. I almost forgot to show the crowlers. I guess y'all want to watch them, huh? Okay. Let me check. This is one when I found it. I wasn't even sure if it was a crowley, and right now I'm still not positive it's a crowley. It looks like one. It's got crowley stuff on it. But then some spots it doesn't look crowded, but I don't know. I guess we'll go with this is a crowley for now. This one real light pattern. That's not bad. Another light pattern. I really like this one, but I lost the pattern through here on it, which happens, which is one reason why I'm not crazy about, about polishing them, but it still looks pretty good. These little dark ones are my favorite one to polish. I think they come out the best. They don't lose a lot of color. And the pattern, you can see it real good. That one has got a little floating quartz pocket in there. That's cool looking. This one's really cool. 
Got a nice, nice pattern all the way around. But it has a nice juicy pocket in it too. And it's cool. This was the one I thought was could have been purple when I found it. It um, does still have a little bit of a purplish red look to the inside of it. But I don't think it's purple. But the backside was crazy. I just washed it off because I had dropped it. Yeah, the backside was really cool. It's got red and reddish lines through it, I guess. I don't know. I did not know. This one here, a really cool pattern. Pattern everywhere. Really nice. And this one's probably my favorite one of the ones I did this month. It's really got a nice pattern. Nice dark color. You can see it pretty well. Yeah, that is cool. Got a big druzy pocket in there. That's definitely my favorite one. Yeah, I like it. Thank y'all for watching. Like and subscribe. That's a beauty.